Hello everyone, uh, this is Ronan Blue, just taking my daily walk here in Kotokina Buru, uh, Borneo, Sabah, East Malaysia, always a mouthful. And today's topic would be on uh, things I'm willing to give up. But some of the things that uh, I'm not willing to really give up, uh, right now anyways, in financial independence, is uh, my freedom. And uh, it took us uh, 15 years to get this freedom. And because we have this freedom, uh, we're now um, have all this uh, freedom to be time rich. So even time rich to jaywalk there. I apologize you had to see that, but that's uh, very much normal here in Malaysia. Um, there's no traffic lights, hardly any anyways. But, uh, but I'm not really willing to give up my freedom. You know, I've, I've had this freedom for the last three years now. And, uh, and because I have this time, I'm able to read everything and everything now. Um, I don't think I've ever had uh, this much freedom to really explore and experiment. Um, and your mindset really changes, you know, compared to uh, the traditional way of thinking. So I also uh, spend a lot of time with my girlfriend here traveling the world to uh, you know, experience new things. You know, and also, uh, I also get a lot of exercise on a daily basis, <clears throat> walking around strange streets I've never been in. And uh, I'm gaining a lot of experiences. And I also have the ability to share to others that a life uh, such as ours is possible to achieve. Uh, once you uh, achieve financial independence, like you no longer have to uh, work that nine to five job. You know, you no, no longer have to report to a boss. Uh, you essentially become your own boss. You know, you, you take care of yourself and uh, you manage your own schedule. Like uh, the times you wake up in the morning. Uh, you can even turn off that alarm if you wanted to, right? There's just certain things I cannot give up anymore ever since hitting financial independence. And uh, I'm really loving this lifestyle. You know, I'm free. And also I started this YouTube channel and I'm able to express, uh, you know, um, my likes and dislikes, my experiences. And uh, it's a great feeling. But uh, some of the things that I am willing to give up uh, would be, you know, that nine to five job, right? You're essentially working at a desk and uh, working towards um, the corporate goals, right? The balance sheets, you know? Um, the rise of the stock market for your corporation. Everything is towards the company. And nothing really is about the growth of yourself. I feel in financial independence, I'm uh, growing more than I ever have uh, in my entire life. And it's something that a lot of people cannot experience. You know and I don't think I would ever revert back to my my old lifestyle right now we're traveling around Southeast Asia and uh, I'm not gonna give that up you know we're loving it here we're free and uh, it's something that has grown on us you know having to expose ourselves to a lot of different cultures and a lot of different foods and uh, meeting friendly people and another thing is uh, my mind has become very clear you know I have all this traffic right behind me but I'm still able to focus my thoughts and the reason being is because we don't have a lot of stuff in our lives materialism I mean because we're minimalists we have less things to think about except for our own minds and experiences and uh, yeah like I said a lot of people are actually trapped in a traditional treadmill existence, right? And uh, I know I know, I kind of look down on it in a lot of ways, but I was part of that, you know? But the thing is, I figured it out. You know, there's, there's a life outside of the traditional. Uh, being free and uh, following your own passions and uh, being mindful for, uh, you know, yourself. I mean, it might sound a little bit selfish in some ways, but uh, in actuality, once you develop yourself as a person, 
you'll be able to contribute to society even stronger than before because you know yourself well you know what your likes and dislikes are and you can express that out to others uh, once you figure out who you are as a person so that's the number one thing that a person should do they should focus on themselves first build themselves know themselves and then express them, express themselves to the world so it's really tough to uh, go against what society has drawn out for you it's really tough and that's what financial independence does for you right um, you're, you're actually doing a lot of things that are probably not accepted um, and uh, it's really hard to go against it of uh, normality or tradition right like me going against traffic right now it's dangerous right with all of the incoming traffic and uh, the pollution but at the same time I still see a clear path and there could be something else on the other side there <clears throat> so that's how my mentality has changed you know from that philosophy uh, there's always that possibility of something else beyond what you've been taught you know what what you're exposed to so financial independence is uh, something that really um, is a powerful tool to free your mind right and a lot of people actually don't want you to follow that path you know they want you to be that good soldier the good corporate soldier get the education get those grades to be able to have a higher income that's essentially what society is telling us right so once you get that higher salary then you can buy all the materialisms that you want get into debt and uh, continue being in debt riding that treadmill existence um, and uh, you'll always be somewhat of a prisoner and a lot of people actually don't know that they're actually prisoners of their own making you know buying the materialism is out there you become a prisoner and uh, you buy that five hundred or a thousand dollar cell phone you're trapped in paying that back you know you're trapped at your desk uh, you're trapped just sitting there for nine to five and not necessarily doing anything with any kind of purpose so what I'm saying might sound very harsh I mean again everybody lives a different <coughs> kind of lifestyle you know they, they want that family they want that the children they want that home right so I can't really say um, that my life is perfect either but uh, I do love this freedom that we created for ourselves <coughs> and it's something that I'm not looking to really give up and uh, I found an alternative lifestyle where I can still sustain it financially and uh, be happy about it like uh, I think this is the happiest moment not right now anyways but this whole traveling abroad and uh, checking out other cultures is probably one of the most uh, happiest moments of our lives and we want to continue do, doing so for a longer period of time I'm also feeling that uh, this whole financial independence you know it isn't something that could be applied only to North Americans I'm beginning to think that it can be applied to anybody in the world as I see all of this materialism around me you know if you're be, being here in Malaysia and Thailand you know it's uh it's spreading throughout the whole entire world the whole concept of uh, spreading your status right but really if you change your mindset and uh, have yourself think in a different perspective of using your wealth to gain freedom and then to use that time to explore your passions would overall be much more beneficial but we're actually absolutely lost right now but uh, I don't feel any kind of stress at all we don't 
because we know that we're time rich we can go in any direction we want and uh, every corner is an experience for us and that's something that uh, I'm not willing to give up either you know as long as my investments are there you know I get my residual income and my passive income and we don't need those full-time jobs then we'll continue to go where, whichever direction we want and it's an awesome feeling you know being free and it's something that you should definitely try and strive for you know you only live once and you don't want to live with any kinds of regrets and uh, that's really the mindset that we have today for ourselves well I think I have my vlog here today uh, tell me what you think of uh, what you would you aren't willing to give up in the comment section below uh, if you like this vlog please don't forget to give me a like subscribe if you haven't already and hit that notification bell for more of my coming content here thanks for watching my vlog be free gain wealth and travel far